Buford, you seen beans around anywhere? Slim, what happened? Don't touch me. I'm radioactrified. Infected. You know, I've got a lotion that'll clear that right up. Sheriff, I'm not joking. I was out in the canyons, found something I'm horrifying. What'd you do with Slim? Blew him right out of the sky. Nope. Oh, wait. All right. Now, listen. I'm going to explain exactly what happened. But you got to hold on, because we're dealing with multidimensional phenomenon here that will strain the credulity of the uneducated masses. Hide that, will you, Buford? Now, I've seen these rocks before. They first came to the attention of my frontal lobe eight days ago. When Beans told me she had new evidence in the mystery of her parental abandonment. Such bad Bill comes out of nowhere and grabs her saddlebag. I knew I had to catch that scaly brute and show him just who wears the badge in this here town. That's when things got a little freaky. I should have guessed. Bad Bill had teamed up with the Jenkins gang in an unnatural alliance. Her hideout was off in the Badlands. The town was mighty rough. But the Jenkins gang never lived in the Badlands. They done took up Homestead and Skeleton Creek. Even better. Are you telling? I'm glad you asked. Fit, water cooled, organically engineered shooter with dual action pump. Pick it up. Dear what you're dealing with here, Lord Man. I know where I can find any more of them rocks, and you can't stop me. Now that there's how I blew up the Jenkins gang hideout and retrieved the first rock. A rock just like the one Slim brought in. Well, what about Bad Bill? He said there's more than one of them crazy stones. I'm glad you asked that highly perceptive follow-up query. Because I am completely prepared to continue this extraordinary plotline and kick it up a notch. It was seven days ago. Beans and I were growing closer, drawn together by her fragile emotional state. Just then, Spoons ran up with some urgent news. Bad Bill's been spotted. He's trying to hijack the water train. Bill. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so 
sorry, Sheriff. You should have listened to me. <laughs> Enjoy the ride, Sheriff! And that's how I defeated Pad Bill and his gang on the water train. What did they have to do with Beans' as daddy? Get to that. Look, I'm trying to supply you with the entire narrative context. Now stay with me. We're gonna put some fuzz on it. It was six days ago. We tracked Bad Bill out to the Forbidden Mine, at the foot of the majestic cliffs of Dry Creek. But the haunted mine is out on a plate. Nope, definitely cliffs. See, now we had two pieces of the rock. Beans was convinced they had something to do with her daddy's disappearance. Suddenly, I saw our pal Bill run inside the mine, and I knew something was up. Place. Area 102. It's Area 51. Those are my daddy's favorite kind. No. Daddy. He was here. <laughs> I would survive the haunted mine. Ow! So, what does it all mean? It means those rocks are clearly not of terrestrial origin. They're meteorite fragments. Oh, oh my goodness! What's a meteorite? It's from outer space. And Beans is convinced we have to collect them all if we have any hope of bringing her daddy back. Well, that's just crazy talk. Oh, uh, hold on, everybody. I'm weaving a whopper. Buford, cook us up some zucchini muffins. There's a whole lot more to the story. It was five days ago. I knew from the evidence at the mine we were into something unusual and needed some unconventional investigatory assistance. Luckily, I knew just the place to look. To the metallurgical mystery facing us today. Oh, Men from Mars? That, that's terrifying. Anybody seen any aliens around lately? Hey. All right, listen up. We got to keep going. Now, this next one may offend some of you with more emotionally delicate dispositions. It was four days ago. The sun was low. The air dry with the faint smell of oregano. When out of nowhere, something went very wrong very quickly. I had to get out, retrieve my sidearm, and free beans, or we were done for.
That's how I saved beans and defeated the entire six-toed rodent plant. Rango! You're back! Where were you? Beans! Rango's been telling us about the meteorite fragments from space. What? Now, honey, wait a minute. You want a magic rock? Give me two minutes and some milk of magnesia. That's my cue. See, Bad Bill, he's determined to get all of them rocks himself. I think they're controlling him somehow. So, three days ago, outside the cantina, Beans and I had decided to take our relationship to the next level. Ringo! Just go with it, Beans. Suddenly, that blood-curdling sound no one ever wants to hear rattled in the distance. It's Rattlesnake Jake! Beans, run! Yep, right out of his mouth. So, now, it gets weird. Did he say now it gets weird? It was two days ago. Of course! Mr. Black was using the meteorite to power his politically and morally incorrect experiments. Save dirt from the zombie apocalypse. Whoa. Whoa, wait, whoa. whoa. Did he just say we was attacked by zombies? Not quite sure I follow that storyline. Don't make no sense. People, listen to me. We don't have much time left to unravel the spaghetti if we're ever gonna find Beans' daddy. Now just stay on the wagon with me. It was only yesterday. The mystery of the meteorites was haunting my every thought. I felt the need to commune with the desert on a deep level. I'm sure most of you couldn't possibly understand. I can relate to that. Do it all the time. I headed west toward the salt flats. West? You mean the Blue Hills? The weather was strange, hotter than usual, and I wasn't feeling myself. You know how you get when you don't put on your sunscreen, Rango. Paint, personal sunscreen. In fact, the sun was bearing down on me with an intensity I've never felt before. This is what I wanted to tell you. That's a safe deposit box key. That's right. 
Beans, your daddy scattered those fragments all over. I don't know why, but the last one is in the bank. We gotta do it. Incredible. They're coming together. Okay, I'm sure this is perfectly normal. What is he trying? so we could all... You what? I done put the meteorite pieces where I thought no one would ever find them. Last thing you were supposed to do was put them back together. Just by way of injecting some excitement into the medulla oblongata of life. Hey, Beans' daddy's back. Ah! 